Hi there, it's Lisa. I have been doing a series on my blog about the ending one year and starting a new year and talking about accomplishments and resolutions and goals and objectives and all those kinds of things. And typically I do a scrapbook page that sort of finishes up uh, one year and starts up the next year. This year I've done two different pages. I'm doing a page to wrap up 2013 and a different page uh, for 2014. So I've already published the 2013 page and before we see the new page for 2014, I thought we'd take a look at some of the pages that I've done in the past. Uh, these have, um, most of them have been on my blog, not all of them. Uh, a couple of these predate my blogging days. And, um, but they haven't been on YouTube. I think there's maybe one of these that was a YouTube video. So let's take a look at some of these pages. This is the first one that I found uh, that I, I did. I have always done uh, goals and objectives and, and this sort of wrap up, but as far as putting it in a scrapbook page, the first time I did that was at the end of 2007, and I had good, goodbye 07 and good riddance. It wasn't a, the best year, or at least I didn't feel like it at the time. Uh, but I, the way I uh, captured everything was I, I had did a photo of myself, and then on underneath that I did pages for each of the things like the accomplishments, things I'm grateful for, my bucket list, um, and, and looking at the future and some goals for the new year. So that wrapped up 2007 and then did uh, 2008. And so as you see these, you'll see you know, some changes too in style of scrapbooking and experimenting. This is always a page where I get to play a little bit too with, the different, with some different styles. And it's always something that has a lot of journaling. So. Um, for two, ending 2008 and going into 2009, I was starting to do some digital scrapbooking, so I've, I've got four photos collaged together here. I don't even know how I did that. I did Photoshop Elements, and I'm sure I've forgotten how I did that, but it worked anyway, and capturing some of the photos uh, from 2008, and then I have, if I pulled out the page protector out here, I would be able to look at the review of the past year and of the, the new year. So I have a lot of journaling that I always put in my uh, journal that I keep, and I and then I print it out uh, for these scrapbook pages. So this one didn't really have any embellishment. It was all about the journaling. The page to start out, uh, to end 2009 and start out 2010, again had some digital scrapbooking, but then a lot of die cutting. I think I had gotten my Cricut uh, that year, so I started playing with that a little bit. I, I was you know, doing some silk flower embellishments here this year, and the way I captured all of my journaling was in this big pocket, and I've got a little tab for each different thing. Like here were, here are my objectives from the previous year and how I did, or, or what I felt like I'd done on those, my resolutions for 2010, we talked about uh, resolutions and which of those were successful and which weren't on the blog. Um, some of the things that I did in the previous year and then my objectives for 2010. So this one is a really easy page to pull the, the um, ideas out and if you had a top um, opening a page protector, you could just reach in and grab those. So a big pocket and then putting your journaling in the pocket works uh, really well. Now, the end of 2010, beginning of 2011, was the only year that I did not do um, in, in this series of years. 2010 was a, a pretty challenging year, and I did some journaling about it, but I never got around to creating a page. And this is the kind of thing where I don't feel like I can really go back and do the page later, because the pages reflect my mood at the time, what was important to me, what colors I liked, uh, my photo at the time, that kind of thing. So it's not something I'm going to go back and fill in. So I don't have 2010, but I do have uh, 2011 and a couple of selfies that I took that I was pretty happy with. Some of the things I learned during that year, and then there's some more details again in the hidden uh, pockets for this page. So this was a two-page layout. I think this one was on my blog um, at the time, but um, I, again, I didn't do this kind of thing on YouTube back then. This next page, which uh, the last one I have before I do the one for this year, is um, 2012, and this it does have a video, and I'll link to that. You, you'll be able to click on the link if you want to go back and watch the video for this one of how I put this page together. It's got a number of pockets, and then within each pocket I have what I accomplished in the previous year, um, some ideas for the new year, and various different thoughts, and then I tucked my pictures uh, in here along with the butterfly. And these were just some pictures I had taken 
taken during the year. So instead of doing a selfie for the um, for the page like I often do, I just took a bunch of pictures from the previous year. So I either take pictures from the previous year, do a selfie. Um, I may do embellishment like I've done here. I'll always have a lot of journaling, usually in some kind of a pocket, not only to contain, to keep up with all that journaling, but also to keep it a little more private if somebody happens to be flipping through my album. So those are just a look back at some of the different ways that I have captured the the uh, year-end process and um, I will have one for 2014 coming up in a video very soon. Thanks for watching!